So I'm going to use number three GG bar to make a final shape. So here is a GG bar. This is always the same. But just, this is just an enlargement. Don't stop here. Just start brushing against outer wall like this. Then irrigate the canal. Okay. One more. Okay, I think this is enough. Then I'm going to use multi-synthetic phase nickel titanium instrument, S1, purple one. This one, and I'm going to use the T mode. The setting will be the same. Oh, sorry. Setting will be 90 degree watts winding at 100 RPM. The second mode will be reciprocating motion at 150 RPM with a 380 degree clockwise and 50 degrees counterclockwise. This is the setting. So I'm going to press it. Here, then I'm going to use 90 degree watch winding. I keep using watch winding until I pass the curvature with a small up and down motion like this. Now I have passed the curvature, the greatest curvature, so I will click to initiate reciprocating motion like this. Now I, ha I have reached the apex. It's not very stable. Then I will irrigate the canal. So here comes S2. I do the same. This is 90 degree watch winding. Just use a small up and down motion like this until I pass the greatest curvature. Then you will click to initiate second motion that is reciprocating motion like this. Up and down, up and down like this. Then I will use Then I will use the next file F1 Then I will start with a 90 degree watch winding So this is 90 degree watch winding Oh sorry there's a small ledge on the outer wall, but it doesn't matter. Because this instrument has a biconical tip, you can easily bypass small ledge. Then I will use reciprocating motion. Up and down, up and down, like this. Then irrigate the canal. Okay, then here comes F3, 90 degree watch winding, 
then after you pass the greatest curvature, then initiate second motion, reciprocating motion, up and down, up and down. Okay. Then I'm going to use F3, the final instrumentation. So here's F3, 90 degree watch binding. Here's the ledge. I over, overcame the ledge and I passed the greatest curvature. Then I will use reciprocating motion, 380 degrees clockwise, 50 degrees counterclockwise at 150 RPM. You see, now instrumentation is finished. Then irrigate the canal. That's it. So this is how you use